Get it ten up again, Bella, Sunman and Lapimakai, and a salute to all my hustlers. It come on, maybe the show more. Ushello is Pancho Bagas in Kombisaga, a carriaban in Ben Buffet, Ben Gavamuti, Aiko, a PISA Buffet, Emil Wuti, Plastics Institute, South Africa, Bebamba Umtin Buai, where the second year student industrial design competition, Buffet, Saki Bangalore, Conalapana, SA Automotive Week, Conalapana, a goalie, Jumagetinaga, a Sali, a Dwayne, a Sun Kombisaga, Amatuba, Conaway Industry, Penifuti, Sintunele Umnin Chiswan. You know what they say. Kings and C's apply. So let's get the 4 on 1 and see what's popping. everyone. Uh, my name is Bob Bond and it's my pleasure to introduce you to the Plastics Institute Student Design Competition which we're running at South African Automotive Week. The PISA Student Design Competition, it started five years ago and the reason for the introduction of this competition was that uh, recycling became uh, more prominent uh, people start recycling more and as a sustainability manager of Plastics SA we try to increase recycling. So through initiatives like separation at source where householders are collecting uh, their recyclables and then taking to either a buyback centre or to a drop off site. So we're collecting a lot more plastics. So we're trying to look at different uh, um, uh, products or in innovative ways to make uh, uh, new products. When the competition started we thought who can design products? And the best way is to take students because they uh, are very creative, they are not bound to the same type of uh, uh, um, demands that we focused on in the industry, so they come up with fantastic ideas. So that's how we brought uh, on, initially it was three universities, WITS University, J University of Johannesburg, and then Twan University of Technology. And then every year we gave them a different brief design different types of products and it was always held uh, in conjunction with the AFRIMOLD um, uh, conference. Uh, AFRIMOLD conference stopped uh, uh, last year so this year we looked for a new venue and that's when we found the South, uh, South African Automotive Week and they definitely wanted us to partner with them to showcase their industry and so 
When we started with the design for this competition, we asked the students to create anything made from 100% recycled plastics. And halfway through, we actually asked them, let's focus on more automotive components. So that's why you'll find that some of the products were automotive based, some were anything from building materials, construction, to just very cool, innovative uh, designs. Through the competition, we want uh, the, the main focus is to get the university students uh, um, uh, closer to industry because they are eventually either going to choose plastics, which is what we would want them to do because we want these wonderful products to be designed. Um, so the main thing is for them to actually talk to industry directly and then of course hopefully one of the industry players takes one of their products and actually makes it. So first of all it's actually taking their products and actually um, creating a business for the, the individual or the, um, uh, the learner. Although the competition is right at the end of the year but we actually start at the beginning of the year with the students where we do presentations to all the students, uh, the brief we go through and we actually give them training on different types of plastics manufacturing processes um, and then through the whole process I even mentor them so when they've got any questions about technical information about plastics they're not sure what material choice must they be or if they would like to speak to a uh, company I help them with that information the whole way. So it, it is very good where they, they learn information quick and if the, the lecturers can't assist them, then of course I'm there. So we definitely want South Africans designing for South Africans. My name is Marta Dornelas. I'm currently studying industrial design at TET and I'm studying and I'm currently second year. Um, I come from Brit, the small little town of Brit, and I am Portuguese from a region, but I was born in South Africa. My name is Rotenda Jineutaru, born and raised in Limpopo. I am a vendor guy. Actually, from my upbringing, I was someone who really liked drawing cars, all that, building toy models. So that actually built the foundation for myself to be a designer. I only got to know about industrial design when I was in grade 11, that is in 2011. I researched more about it and then I found it interesting. And that's when now I'm a second year industrial design student at TUT, so I'm an investor of technology. Since grade seven, when I actually started accounting as a subject, I always wanted to become a CA, but then I discovered um, engineering drawing, and that opened a lot of other doors for me. And then I, I realized that um, I don't like repetitiveness. That's why I also started looking at industrial design because one thing about it is that it's never the same. Every day comes with new challenges and things like that. So I changed subjects to that um, engineering design. And from day one, I just, I really enjoyed it. I used to go to um, the National School of the Arts in high school. Um, I guess from there, because I've done 3D design there, um, it was a natural progression for me to do industrial design. Um, but I started at TT, funny enough, uh, my first year, but I didn't really like Pretoria, so I came back to UJ. Uh, yeah, so I guess 
that's how it happened. I just love designing and working with my hands, so it was just a natural progression. In high school, I made uh, this cow that was a, it was a lampshade and a, and a ceramic cow, but it was also a candle holder. Um, it was supposed to encapsulate and how I see myself in what I am today and today's society and whatnot. So, um, yeah, it was just about that and I reinterpreted what I know from Ukula and the uh, influence tradition yes, Zulu, and then he fag it into a modern society. So yeah. Nkuleng as Guti, I wanna I wanna do something that isn't necessarily normal. Um, after Nganza I designed Go High School, I was like, okay, let me challenge myself. I wanna go into um, bespoke furniture anyway in the future. So I thought if I understand the mass-produced um, products part of everything and how to make mass-producible items, it will make me a better designer at the end of the day with considerations of functionality, sustainability and all of that. So, yeah, a lot of research went into me understanding what I want to do in the future. My, my research in industrial design was something where I just said, go to the internet, ask people who know about it, and some who don't even know about it, like just briefly tell them what I want to do, uh, and then they'll refer me to some sources, visit this website, visit that website, and through that, that's when I get to, to, to research to know about industrial design. Um, there were a few, few exhibitions I went to, and I think those were the only things that were design related and there I'll then be able to ask people about industrial design as well. I, for, for me I think drawing and designing it's something that I really saw that it's different. Um, I like to draw when I was young but as soon as I get to know industrial design that's where I saw that no there is something where you design. So my interest actually was based on I, I, I want to design a lot of things I don't just want to design one thing so that's when I thought, well, in the soul design, you can, you can design a broad variety of products. You're not fixed on one product. So I can design your cell phone, I can design your laptop, I can basically design everything if they, that's how they put it. So for that, I felt like it's a platform which you can source out in very different places. You're not fixed on doing just one thing, but you can do quite a variety of things. Getty is the sticky situation. To serve us and more plastics, but for it, just want to look at masters with you. I'm a passion. So to be an but we're careful. So we're not going to be able to be like I'm a judge. I'm a designer. We're going to be able to. Then we're going to be industrial design. A P in the age like we're going to South African manufacturing. Now we're going to start like we're going to see future fun. We push and fun. Opening Hila Berle, when I found at the Plastic Institute of South Africa's annual design competition for second year industrial design students. But for you, but when you get a challenge between the Panama and Zaga, I'm a product, you know, my automotive components and I'm a to lose you. Now, my accessories, but seven Zaga, I recycle plastic. But for you, get a tons of the role, rubber boy. We were told that uh, we had to design anything that we want to, um, but it had to be from recycled plastic. Uh, yeah, so they gave us free rate for, for this project, and yeah, from there I designed my Moby Study. It's basically a bag that, or, uh, that converts into a table and a chair for underprivileged kids to use in rural school areas where they don't have tables and chairs and yeah, or studying under trees. Um, yeah, and basically what happened, what would happen is the community would, would get together and collect recyclable uh, plastics, bottles, anything that, that they can and possibly create jobs by doing so and, and getting money from recycling. And then that material would be used and into making the actual movie study and hand it back to the kids to use. 
and they can use it from primary school until they're actually done with school. My design is called a tap top. What I wanted to do was, when, I, when we first got this project, I wanted to look at what problems I could solve. Because it's a 100% recycled uh, product, it was meant to be a cheap product, so I wanted it to help the less fortunate. So I started looking at schools and realized through my research that um, a lot of school children don't have desks um, where they can write on. So I, I was first inclined to design a table and a chair combination, but then also throughout another project that we did, I think it was last year, we found that in the current schools, there's a lot of the standard table frames that don't have tabletops anymore. So instead of making the whole table, I decided to make just the tabletop that fits onto a standard um, table frame. So then the, my market was the government where they can recollect all these old and broken tables, which is just a frame because usually the frame is still intact. Then they just supply the tabletop for the table and then provide it to the poorer school. The product that I designed for this piece of competition, it's a smart brick making kit. It's designed for the underprivileged people in rural settings. So they use the kit to, to make their own bricks at their own time. So obviously the, the, the business minded people will be able to, to start their own little warehouse where they are producing bricks and selling them out. So if you, you see, we have solved the problem of unemployment and the problem of, of housing. So if you want a five bedroom house, you can build one. If you want a two bedroom house, you can build one. So it's all up to you. Like I believe that if you want to be helped, it's better to help yourself as well. So you helping yourself build your own house and also take, you, take yourself out of poverty. Industrial design is a course we design products and uh, to make them better. You come up with new concepts and you develop it further. And it's a course where you learn more about uh, mass production of processes. We use different processes like injection molding, rotational molding, we design products. You need to know about how to mass produce a product. Industrial design and product design itself is fundamental to the development of and growth of uh, any GDP of any country, manufacture a product. We hear a lot of noises about the need to stimulate the SMME sector within South Africa. Um, to do that, we have to interface with and has to be taken on board the fact that industrial design is a strategic business tool uh, and must be used and applied that way. How many people do you know can actually recognize and pick out an example of a South African designed product from a high street sh shop. It's incredibly difficult. If you want to buy a birthday present for your wife, your girlfriend, or whatever, or your buddy, and you want to, you go to a shop and you've got 150, 200 bucks to spend. You ask the assistant, I want to buy something for my buddy that's made in South Africa. They might give you a soapstone elephant, or they might give you a piece, nothing wrong with that, obviously. But that is not sustainable product manufacture that, is, that needs to happen here. You want to be able to be sh shown a whole series of South African made product, whether it be domestic appliances, whether it be um, whatever, doesn't matter. But products made in South Africa and proudly made in South Africa. My soft spot is for little kids and um, especially like the disadvantage in South Africa. And when I found industrial design, I realized that it was an opportunity to help that field, you know, help improve the less fortunate children and things like that. So I think it's people that have a passion for helping like other people, but through, not like this is a doctor or whatever, through other means like industrial design. You help through product design to help people better their solutions. I grew up in a, in a place where I saw, I saw these problems every day, people making bricks. So literally my whole upbringing was to see how these people make bricks. So I saw all the problems and I had to solve, to solve them. 
So they usually use their feet. If, if I'm talking about people that are using clay, making clay bricks, they use their feet to, to mix the old clay. Health-wise, it's not really safe. So the kit actually comes in with a, with a panel which you use it to mix your old clay so you don't have to use your feet. As well, some don't even afford a wheelbarrow. So the same panel, you use it as a carrier so you, you can transport your bricks from one point to the next point. And then the tray molds you get, you make six bricks per tray and with the whole kit you can make 30, 36 bricks at a time. Because we were given free range, I decided to basically go for helping the community, whereas I could have gone, I have a concept where I went for the luxury part of it, where I'd make a stool for, that would sell for thousands and they'd make money that way. But uh, because um, of the free range that we got, I, I thought, what the hell, why not make something that might help? It's in Kapang, which is live as yet in the fix. Tell pros and cons about I'm a plastic, no recycler, which I'm again a master's which I share a good easy pinking. I'm a tanga bezan and now the fix to pull on lynch is one. Catalan said before some of it, I guess solo with Catalan Telabant, but Fundan, Jamang it out to look father scale, scale it. Well, the, the competition itself is a very, very good vehicle. And one must applaud the PISA and the individuals behind this competition for setting it up in the first place. It gives the students an opportunity to really throw their ideas out there to, for, for, for critical observation, critical uh, comment. What I look for in, in, uh, in any competition is innovative thinking, is the application and the, the yeah, the application of the material in its truest sense. I look for creative thinking. I look at commercial viability. Is this product going to have... Um, uh, is it going to take up a commercial position in the market? Are people want to go to, Do they want to buy it? You know, they're the, the fundamentals, I think. And they are the, the basic responsibilities of the designer, of the industrial designer. The product is made out of plastic, which is called low-density polyethylene. So that, product, uh, that plastic gives you um, properties where the product becomes robust, it's tough, but not brittle in a way that it will break. So it, you, you are rest assured that you have a, 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 a lifelong guarantee, uh, uh, guarantee on the product. And again, re choosing recycled plastic was to make it cheaper for people so that, they can, that they'll be able to afford it. If I am to base my product to other products out there, I, I, I was competing in, in terms of uh, um, price-wise and making sure that it solves all the problems that, 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 that these people experience. So plastic-wise, it, it, it is very robust. It might be even say, the same as metal. So it's all about a, a perception of people thinking that plastic is cheap, plastic is not strong, but it is quite really strong. Like we, 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 in my case, we add um, wood shavings, things that you get from, from, from factories that are thrown away. So you use that to make your plastic stronger. So now you have a robust product. You simply just wash it, no maintenance at all. The amount of research that goes into developing such a product is first your market. First you have to go and look for a problem that you want to solve. And then because you're given a specific material, you have to go and research on the material, what can be done, what can't be done, what um, material actually, because you are, we could use 100% recycled plastic. And because there's such a big range, you have to find the one that's going to work best. So there's all those processes. Then you have to go and research the process that you're going to use and, um, yeah, and the business that you're going to use it in and things like that. There's a lot of, of in-depth research that you have to go into. You have to give 120 or yeah, 120,000 percent of your energy and your, your, your time into whatever you're doing. You have to time manage well. You have to, to be able to sacrifice a lot. 
sometimes you even sacrifice friends. <laughs> I, I know I had to sacrifice a lot of time. And what um, college students usually have time to go out and party. Yes, you can manage that if you want to, but I found that I had to, to prioritize, and that means not sleeping for, for hours or sleeping at 12 every day just to get a product done. And sometimes it doesn't work out as well, but at the end of the day, you fall in love with what you do with, with that product. And like I said, it's your baby. So you work on it nonstop until you're actually done and you find yourself um, finishing at the last minute. But yeah, it's all about sacrifice. So it's, it's not glamorous, um, but it's, it's fun, essentially, even with all the stresses that are in there. Students are so creative. But the designer said, how can you level We are going to use it. And then Rotrapa all means already implement. And Rotrapa all means maybe reconsult the, the, the industries, you know, to try to implement the, the design. Well, currently I want to see my career in entrepreneurship. I want to build up my own company with a few of my current um, students, student mates. And yeah, that's what we want to do. We want to create our own so that we can do a broad selection of products. Because that's the one thing, if you do go into a company, you will only be catering for what they already designed. So we want to have a broad selection of different products that we can do. I'm taking um, every year as I go, but essentially I just wanna, I just wanna design for the rest of my life. Possibly have my own company, um, a bespoke furniture company. Personally, I love metal and wood a lot, so yeah. Through my whole research actually in this whole design, there was a point where I really just wanted to design cars, because I really drew a lot of cars since I was young. So that's still, it's, it's, it's still part of my dreams. It might be something that I'll do maybe 10 years after in the soul design, after being in the field, just study more and still make it my, my lifelong dream. So I'd still want to be a car design, automotive design, they call it. The industrial designers, they manufacture the tabakelo, so it's all about the community, they're all about the community. But the solution is a fetal lama pillo arona, level gamma sovereign of the day. Now, you know how this is a solution, Yabona. But look at our banana level for the Bahui Boo, Gapaway Salas of Anna, a fetal lama pillo abato Juan. Luna no more high my hustlers. High cover over to a human a passion near how. Jake a hurry upon it to hold our hustlers. Or look at a one hand or Anna, he ain't a silo so like a town with a fetal capa who sit Lisa. A cover product, capa yona service. Harukuta, the local bonnet design at our hustler say, Leba Ituti Babang, who would use a hangata, the industrial designing, Lor Anna, plastic, Ere Amayambo Pilong, Lebo Gamuson Baron, Dula Leron. Get this into the lager, only a dollar one thing before you get the annual Plastic Institute of South Africa second year industrial design competition. The first La Aba Fundig and Amasazo to Ashangana Kono, which I can be seen seven zero, a band and get a cycle plastic. The first one in a good manager, but what is seven zero is a humble pumpy. But I'm going to go to Kuba Ranjan, I'll see you in the Spanish Q said, Let's give a face to Umbuzo, which is a humble Ranjan. Some months have 30 days and some months have 31 days. How many months have 28 days? If you ask, we will always say, Oh, hashtag Spanish with the camera.
So uh, I just want to thank everyone for coming today to the awards and uh, of course a big thanks to the students for uh, their wonderful design and innovation as well. This day is here to celebrate what the, the students have done this year and uh, just to showcase their work. Still we haven't had somebody from industry taking one of these and start producing it, but I uh, really hope this year will be the year. The basic the criteria for this was life expectancy of product, so how long would it last? We looked at sustainability of product, would you still buy it after five years? Uh, customer satisfaction despite recycled content, and all these people have an adverse reaction saying, oh, I don't really want the material or product is made from recycled material. So we're trying to overcome that stigma that recycled plastics are just as good as your uh, normal virgin polymer. Let's uh, start with presentation. So first uh, I would like to call uh, Mum to proceed, if uh, you can please come up. When I started this project, uh, I wanted to like, solve a problem that most of us as drivers I experience almost every day, and that way, that's like in the, um, in the garage. And the problem that I experienced was sometimes the garage is too small for the car, or the car is too big for the garage, so uh, the driver has to stop a certain distance from the, uh, from, the front of, from the front wall in order for the garage door to close. Um, so I made this, this uh, door stopper, uh, wheel stopper thing that, that is taped to the garage floor. My design was a baby crawling device. It's designed to use for both as either a toy or a rehabilitation device. Uh, it can be used for um, cerebral palsy kids, people with Down syndrome, but mainly cerebral palsy children who have a problem crawling. And learning to crawl is a major, major step in uh, learning further. Um, my design worked around the uh, redesigning the manhole cover or stormwater, stormwater drain covers. Um, the design was more of focused on redesigning it as uh, it's the, uh, the current, it focuses, focuses on the current um, manhole covers that have the 600 millimeter diameter. Um, this product is made from 100% polyethylene um, and is injection molded. Uh, the product, the manhole cover um, has ribbing for extra support and strength. Unemployment is actually one of the South Africa's biggest problems and yet again it's not really solved. And I think with, with people trying to apply jobs, they don't really get any of those jobs. And on, uh, based on the 2013 statistics, like I'm showing, the 25.2% 20, of people are unemployed, and yet um, housing is still, again, the most serious problem. And the, the picture you see there, it's not really beautiful. And 7.3 people still need ad adequate houses, and it raises a thing of saying this, again, is a big problem. So um, it, it's up to us, like, do, do, we, do we have a solution for this? It, it's a question. And, I believe that there is a solution. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a product which I call the Brigado. So I went with the, the speed bump, the slow-mo speed bump. Um, the whole idea was that speed bumps are very popular, as we know, and um, quite ugly, actually, if you think about it. Uh, particularly the plastic ones, I don't know if you've seen them, they're kind of uh, square, geometric shaped, uh, not very pleasant to look at. So what I wanted to do was, based on the, the aesthetics of a red blood cell, try to bring this organic shape into urban areas like Joburg and uh, suburban areas around it. So um, what I did was, I looked at um, injection molding a, a speed bump, essentially half of a, a red blood cell that could be in multiple colors um, to uplift aesthetically the urban areas. My light is called the tri light. It is a recyclable light. That, okay, let's start from the beginning. Okay, I'm going to go through my whole design process first. This is the precedent board, just to see what is out there. My mood board, I look at toys and mostly lights and then sheet plastic. 
Uh, the chosen direction is actually a solar power light that can be used in rural areas that can sit on your windowsill and it can be used in your home as well. Okay, uh, I had to change the design after I found out that actually your solar panel needs to be face north and needs to be at an angle so that it works at its best. Regardo is a sustainable and manually operated and env environmental friendly brick making kit with um, excellent um, user interface, the, the, the product allows the, the individuals to, um, to make 36 bricks at a time. So with the whole kit, regardless of how you're using it, you can make 36 bricks. And for, that, for, for the bricks, then you, you, you'll be able to, to produce or build your own house uh, whenever you feel like having one. And <laughs> so it's manual operated, so it's, 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 it's designed so that it's easy and quick the, the way people make brick. And it, it was taken from, from a traditional way that we black people make bricks. And I, I believe that still that traditional way can be made better for all of us. Um, like you see there, you've got the side panels which you use as brick carriers because those people, they have, they try make, to make bricks but they don't have wheelbarrows, they can't even afford one. So at least you've got something which you can use as an alternative to a, to a wheelbarrow. And again, the same, the same panel can be used to, to mix whatever, if you're using mud, if you're using concrete, because they use their feet currently and health-wise that's not really nice. So at least you've got something to mix your, your, your mud with because if you're using the traditional way, then I believe you, 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 you have an easier way of making bricks. Silimonsa 2012 for Sechabasa South Africa. Sisebi diste 1,628 million tons ya plastic. Ho ho chogori, omongle omongwe. Osebi disa 28 kg ya plastic. Rinali di company say 2,000. Say hiramba sebi tiba 61,000. Ho ho chogori, omongle omong. Ofetu na 25 kg ya plastic silimo. Plastic yona, ibu nolo. E cost effective hui sebe di sa hape, nuhu creator mi sebe eti. Gete logum nandi, ninge yako, simbe nyo kona lafanage at the Plastic Institute of South Africa Industrial Design Competition, the 34th second year students. Lanage baba nige ze HS buti bahambe, baya nza ama product, no mage ama tools, no mage ama accessory, basebe nza ge irrecycled plastic bafetu, gitige man sebe kumbisa ama charge buti, imi sebe nze abu, imi mega njani, but before that, Hold on, how to hear him come to the Spanish Q, Lefana, for it to say, Umbuzo, which is Oham Baganje. Some months have 30 days and some months have 31 days. How many months have 28 days? But for it to come out with Kafazo, Kulisha, Shakota Manje, let's go back to where the action is at. Uh, we started with uh, the judging uh, process yesterday. Uh, normally we have the students involved and the judges ask the students questions during. But this year we thought we'd go do a little bit different and let the judges work them with themselves and discuss the different projects. Um, just some comments uh, from the uh, judges like uh, innovative design, great concepts, uh, PISA competition is a great vehicle. Um, to introduce students to industry. Um, it challenges students to think creative and also um, showing commercial availability of products that can be produced. Um, and I just would like to thank uh, our, our four judges, Belinda Booker from Petco, who was one of our sponsors, uh, Rudy Johannes from SAPRO, the South African Plastics Recycling Organization, we had Vincent Kamalu, uh, from the CSR and as well he sits on uh, the PISA committee and then also Mark uh, Wath from TUT. So thank you very much for taking uh, time out of your day to, to judge the competition. So the part that you're all waiting for. Um, so although we saw presentations of the top six students um, now it's just to go through and uh, so what we're going to do is do the first, second and third and then the, we've got three merit awards that we'd like to give. So I'm going to ask Bob to assist me with this. So thank you very much. 
So we're going to start in third place. And uh, let me just check, sorry. So third, if we could have a drum roll, please. So third goes to Judd Lombard from UJ. So congratulations. So uh, second, uh, I'll just say what a second is first. So second prize, uh, getting two and a half thousand rand. Um, and it goes to Armand Duplessis from TUT. Keep that safe. <laughs> and then uh, first prize, uh, that's for a value of uh, 4,000 Rand, and that goes to Rotenda. Everybody get up. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> man. Your presentation was just fantastic. So really well done, and I definitely see a future for you in our industry. Okay. Yes. Hey, I'm so excited. Well, uh, if I can do it, other designers can do it. We can solve all the problems we have in social problems through design. And it's not just the brick, the, the, the housing problem, the unemployment problem, there's more problems that I I believe that other designers can do it as well, that yeah. I'm so excited. I think this, this competition was actually a great exposure because I've shared with few people and they are really willing to help me. So I think competitions are the way for, for us designers. Competition is tough. I guess everyone had really, really good designs. I feel very proud of my friends that actually did win. But um, look, tough, competition was tough. And I think that the best designers did come out on top. But it always gives you a reason to work harder on your designs. And that's what I'm going to do and like develop it further. I'll work on my designs so they're not as complicated as what I had planned for it for this competition. Um, but yeah, I think I want to take it further. I want to try and get um, sponsors for it so that I can, I can actually get it made because I really do believe in it and I believe that it should make a difference. I do think um, I should enter, keep entering in because it's good exposure for any designer and it in, um, makes you a better designer because you look at what other people produce and it makes you want to aspire to get higher, better and, higher and better design. I think as well, design should be just the product. It should be also how you present the product to the people. Designers are people who like pictures, something that's visuals, and that really excites us, the audience. So I had to put a lot of effort, let it be a presentation that just excites them and maybe just feel like they, I deserve more than the first place. So I had to put a lot of emphasis on the presentation. The next step is taking that thing into production. Well, I still have to chat with few people, and then I think other than that, the, uh, the brigade needs to be there for the people. Some months have 30 days and some have 31 days. How many months have 28 days? Some have more, none have less. If you have 28 days, you have more than a month. You have more than a month. You have more than a month. You have more than a Hustlers, a PISA Student Industrial Design Award. The company says, "Emi Sebens, you have a fund. You have a family. Work design. You have a family. You have a design. You have a pin. You have a company. 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 
senior certificate e ka go dumela gore o yetse di costa diploma e mpa go pola re institution e ka o fapana di na le di tlhokwa tsa yona ba ithuti bona ba gethwa ka di portfolio di practical examination le tsona di interview go di subjecting maths e bo tlhokwa ha holo tse ding tse o ka di sheba ke engineering ke visual arts le yona graphic designing ha re khutla ba ithuti ba rona ba presenta me service ya bona ko di judge Mac Liena o tla le karabo ya Hispanic Q o se fetwe ke sena Well done to our hustlers Rotenda Marta Lewanda ka nnete re motlotlo ka lona ka go batla o fetola maemo na heng ya rona plastic recycling e ke sa tlhlogo le monyetla wa go boloka na ha ya rona botso ya rona beke ena e tswa ko Brian Ariana o na le gatlhego ya go ithutela le fapeng la automotive Raini go website ya Mesita bana le bukanyana e ba ibitseng career guide e ile gore o ka download yona ge e tla go neya ka di options e o thuse gore o khatlhogo ya hao e ho kae e go neya le ka di training providers tse ile gore di register tle le fapala sita and happen more o ka fumana ka di bazaar di leadership le di apprenticeship tse teng ha e ka ba gona le ho sa o fumanang ho pola o tshakela facebook ka pa website ya rona and ho pola gore romela tsa lona dipotso gitse hasla na o le peka ya gitse tsa sikaza uthi uzakhele elakho ekusasa eqamile upile ukuthi uthathe wonke amathuboni ke zona ukuthi uzakhele elakho igama mina ngumfana ka mtambo sengichuma ka nje ngitonza zonke ngisi yazi mafu chumana na chumana na sikuphe fethu social media sikhona na ku website yethu sikhona ba fethu izohlala ngitshela fethu until next week gitse au gaga spider au gaga look down look up and stay up